Hi everyone, today we're going to study bit operations. Let's begin by defining bit. A bit is a symbol with the possible values, namely 0 and 1. Computers represent information using bits. A bit can be used to represent a truth value of a proposition. Since there are two truth values, true represented by T and false represented by F, we will use a one bit to represent the true value and a zero bit to represent the false value. Let us define Boolean variable. A variable is called a Boolean variable if its value is either true or false. We normally give letters like P or Q to represent the Boolean variable. Consequently, a Boolean variable can be represented by bits. Let's go now to bit operations. Computer bit operations correspond to logical connections. We studied the symbols here. The first symbol is for negation operation, and we read this as not. The second symbol is for disjunction. We read this as or. The next symbol is for conjunction, and we read this as end. The next symbol is for exclusive OR operation, and we read this as XOR. The next symbol is for conditional operation. We read this as implies. The last symbol here is for biconditional operation, and we read this as if and only if. Let us recall our truth values. We have here proposition P and proposition Q. With all the values for the P, we write T, T, F, F. For the Q, T, F, T, F. These are all the possible combinations of T and F for the two propositions. Let us show the negation of these propositions. So not P and not Q are here. When P is T, not P is F. When P is F, not P is T. Also for the Q, when Q is T, not Q is F. When Q is F, not Q is T respectively. Next is the P and Q. For this operation, the value is only T when the two propositions are T values. See here, T and T is T, T and F is F, F and T is F, F and F is F. Next, P or Q. This is only false when both of P and Q are false. T or T is T, T or F is T, F or T is T, F or F is F. Next, P, X or Q. The values will be T if Exactly one of the two propositions is T. So we have here T, X or T is F. T, X or F is T. F, X or T is T. F, X or F 
is f. Next, p implies q. This is always true except when the p is t and the q is f. So we see here, t implies t is t. t implies f is f. f implies t is t. f implies f is t. The last one is the biconditional. p if and only if q. This is only true if both truth values of the two propositions are the same, both true and both false. So t, if and only if t, is t. t, if and only if f, is f. f, if and only if t, is f. f, if and only if f, is t. Now, by replacing t with 1 and f with 0, we obtain the corresponding bit operations. So it means, let's have the p and q. So the values now are 1, 1, 0, 0. For the q, 1, 0, 1, 0. For not p and not q, we will change 1 into 0 or 0 into 1, respectively. Next, P and Q. So 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. The value is only 1 when both P and Q R1. Next, P or Q. The values are always 1 except when both P and Q are zeros. So 1 or 1 is 1. 1 or 0 is 1. 0 or 1 is 1. 0 or 0 is 0. P, XOR, Q. The value will be 1 if exactly 1 of P and Q is 1. So 1, XOR 1 is 0. 1, XOR 0 is 1. 0, XOR 1 is 1. 0, XOR 0 is 0. P implies Q. The values will always be 1 except when P is 1 and Q is 0. So 1 implies 1 is 1. 1 implies 0 is 0. 0 implies 1 is 1. 0 implies 0 is 1. P if and only if Q. The value will be 1 if both P and Q here have the same values, both 1 or both 0. So 1 if and only if 1 is 1. 1 if and only if 0 is 0. 0 if and only if 1 is 0. 0 if and only if 0 is 1. These are now the bit operations. Today we are going to study bit strings and operations. Let us define bit string. A bit string is a sequence of 0 and 1 bits. The length of this string 
is the number of bits in the string. For example, 100100110 is a bit string of length 9. We can extend bit operations to bit strings. Let us now define bitwise operations. We define the bitwise OR, bitwise AND, and bitwise XOR of two strings of the same length to be a new string resulted from applying the operations above respectively on the original two strings. Let us see this example. Find the bitwise OR, bitwise AND, and bitwise XOR of bit strings 1011110 and 0100001. Please observe that we have here bit strings of length 7 respectively. For our solution, let us start with bitwise OR. Let us write the two strings in column. Now let us do the operation OR. Remember that OR operation is always 1, except when both propositions are 0. So 1 OR 0 is 1. 0 OR 1 is 1. 1 OR 0 is 1. 1 OR 0 is 1. 1 OR 0 is is 1. 1 or 0 is 1. 0 or 1 is 1. So the resulted string is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the final answer. Now letter B, the bitwise end. The two strings are here. Let us do the operation AND. Remember that AND operation is always 0 except when both propositions are 1. So 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 0 is is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. So the resulted string is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the final answer. Letter C, the bitwise XOR. The two strings are here we will do the XOR operation. Remember that XOR operation results to 1 when exactly one of the propositions is 1, otherwise 0. So 1 XOR 0 is 1. 0 XOR 1 is 1. 1 XOR 0 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 is 1. 0 XOR 1 is 1. So the resulted string is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the final answer. Today, we're going to study join and meet of 0-1 matrices. First, let us define 0-1 matrix. A matrix with entries that either 0 
or 1 is called a 0 1 matrix. We have one example here, matrix A. Entries are 1 0 1 0 1 0. Remember that a matrix is defined by M rows by N columns. Or simply we write M by N matrix. In our example here, we observe that there are two rows. So this is the value for M. And then we have three columns. So we change the N into three. So for our example here, we have two by three matrix. Zero one matrices are often used to represent discrete structure and they are based on boolean operations or and the operation end. Let us define now join and meet of 0, 1 matrices. Let capital A equals small a sub ij matrix and capital B equals small b sub ij matrix B, M by N, 0, 1, matrices. The join of A and B is the 0, 1 matrix with IJ entry, A sub IJ or B sub IJ. And it is denoted by A or B. The meet of A and B is the 0, 1 matrix with IJ entry, A sub IJ and B sub IJ. And it is denoted by A and B. Let us see this example. Find the join and the meet of the 0, 1 matrices. Matrix A, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Matrix B, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Take note that matrices A and B have the same size. Let's begin now with a join of A and B. This is denoted by the operation A or B. We're going to do OR operation to corresponding entries of the matrices. Remember that for OR operation, the value is always 1, except when both entries are 0. So we are going to write the join to be like this, A or B. For the first entry, this is 1 or 0, and this is equal to 1. Second, the 0 or 1 is 1. Third, 1 or 0 is 1. Next, 0 or 1 is 1. Then, 1 or 1 is 1. Next, 0 or 0 is 0. So the join of A and B is the matrix 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Next is the meet of A and B, and this is denoted by A and B. Remember that for the Boolean operation end, the value is always 0, except when both of the values are 1. So we write it like this, the A and B. For the first entry, we have 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. 0 and 0 is 0. So the meet of A and B is the matrix 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. These are 
the final answers. Today, we're going to study Boolean product. Let us define Boolean product. Let capital A equals the matrix A sub IJ be an M by K 0, 1 matrix and capital B equals small b sub IJ matrix B a K by N 0, 1 matrix. Then the Boolean product of A and B denoted by this symbol is the M by N 0, 1 matrix with IJ N3 C sub IJ where C sub IJ equals the operation A sub I1 and B sub 1J or the operation A sub I2 and B sub 2J or up to the operation or the operation A sub IK and B sub KJ. Note that this Boolean product is similar to multiplication of matrices such that and and four operations correspond to multiplication and addition respectively. Let us see this example. Find the Boolean product of the 0, 1 matrices. Matrix A, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And matrix B, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. For our solution, let us write the symbol of the Boolean product for A and B. Take note that matrix A is a 3 by 2 matrix, meaning 3 rows by 2 columns, while matrix B is a 2 by 3 matrix, which means 2 rows and 3 columns. Remember that in the multiplication of matrices A and B, the column of A must be equal to the rows of B. And then, for the product, the resulting matrix must be 3 by 3. It means the number of rows of A and the number of columns of B. This is the general form of the 3 by 3 matrix. Let us now solve the elements one by one. Let's begin with the first element, A sub 1, 1. We're going to consider the first row of A and the first column of B. So we write 1 and 1 or 0 and 0. When we simplify this, 1 and 1 is 1. And then the OR, 0 and 0 is 0. 1 or 0 is 1. Then A sub 1, 2. We need the first row of A and the second column of B. So we write here 1 and 1 or 0 and 1. The 1 and 1 is 1 or 0 and 1 is 0. 1 or 0 is 1. Next, A sub 1, 3. We need the first row of A and the third column of B. So we write here 1 and 0 or 0 and 1. 1 and 0 is 0, or 0 and 1 
is 0. 0 or 0 is 0. Next element, a sub 2, 1. We need the second row of A and the first column of B. So we write 0 and 1 or 1 and 0. 0 and 1 is 0 or 1 and 0 is 0. 0 or 0 is 0. Next element, A sub 2, 2. We consider the second row of A and the second column of B. So we write 0 and 1 or 1 and 1. 0 and 1 is 0 or 1 and 1 is 1. 0 or 1 is 1. Next element, A sub 2, 3. We consider the second row of A and the third column of B. So we write 0 and 0 or 1 and 1. 0 and 0 is 0 or 1 and 1 is 1. 0 or 1 is 1. Next element, A sub 3, 1. We need the third row of A and the first column of B. So we write here 1 and 1 or 0 and 0. 1 and 1 is 1 or 0 and 0 is 0. 1 or 0 is 1. Next element, A sub 3, 2. We shall consider the third row of A and second column of B. So we write here 1 and 1 or 0 and 1. 1 and 1 is 1 or 0 and 1 is 0. 1 or 0 is 1. Third element, A sub 3, 3. So we need the third row of A and third column of B. 1 and 0 or 0 and 1. 1 and 0 is 0 or 0 and 1 is 0. 0 or 0 is 0. The Boolean product of matrices A and B is the matrix 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the final answer. Today, we're going to study Boolean powers of 0, 1 matrix. Let us define Boolean powers of 0, 1 matrix. Let capital A be a square 0, 1 matrix and let R be a positive integer. The art Boolean power of A is the Boolean product of R factors of A as denoted by A raised to R. This A raised to R is equal to A multiplied to itself R number of times. Note that the A with power 0 is equal to the identity matrix. Let us see this example. Let matrix A equals 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Find A power 3. Our solution begins with the computation of A power 2. And this is the Boolean product 
of A and A. We put this matrix together side by side. Since the matrix A is a 3 by 3, we expect our final answer to be 3 by 3 also. And the general form is here. Let's begin now with finding the first element, A sub 1, 1. We multiply the first row of this matrix and the first column of this matrix. So we write 1 and 1 or 1 and 0 or 0 and 0. Take note here that we have three pairs of AND operations and connected by OR. If we find a resulting value of 1 to any of these operations, then the full value here will be equal to 1. So 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. Because there is a value of 1 on this operation, the full operation here will be equal to 1. And that will be the value of A sub 1, 1. Here we go. Next, the A sub 1, 2. First column of this matrix, second column of this matrix. So we write now 1 and 1 or 1 and 1 or 0 and 1. Again, if any value of 1 is here, the full operation is equal to 1. 1 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 0. So we see here a 1 value in any of the three pairs. So the full operation here is equal to 1. That is the value of our A sub 1, 2. So we write it here. We are going to follow this pattern in all our elements. Let's go for A sub 1, 3. A sub 2, 1. A sub 2, 2. A sub 2, 3. A sub 3, 1. A sub 3, 2. A sub 3, 3. So we have now the resulting matrix of A power 2. Let us write this answer on top of our screen. Now let us proceed for the A power 3. We can write this as A times A times A. This A times A is the A power 2 and we solved it a while ago. And this is the matrix. So we write this matrix multiplied by the matrix A. So let us multiply the two matrices. The first element here is 1 because we multiply this row by this column. And we write the row solution in here. The second element is 1 as we multiply this first row and the second column. Third element is 0. We multiply the first row by the third column. The next element here is 0. We multiply the second row by the first column. The next element is 1. We multiply the second row by the second column. Next element is 0. We multiply the second row 
by the third column. Next element is 0. We multiply the third row by the first column. Another element is 1. We multiply the third row by the second column. The last element is 1. We multiply the third row by the third column. This is now the A power 3 matrix. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Thank you.